believe it or not, I wanted to be a drummer when I was a little kid, or a drummer or a trumpet player, and both of those, my mother put the kibosh on, and they got a clarinet given to them by somebody, and I remember my mom handing me the clarinet and going, well, this isn't at all what I had in mind. My first instrument was clarinet, and when I went to sax, I started to get away from the swing stuff and more into the bebop guys and eventually Coltrane and Sonny Rollins. And, 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 and so one thing led to another, but I made these discoveries basically on my, on my own. I tend to uh, gravitate toward people, uh, as Dr. Youssef Latif might say, people with a capacious palette of uh, information to paint their music. Not everything has to be picture perfect on paper when you're playing this music and you can take uh, you can take chances, and, and sometimes I'm, you know, I'll, I'll drop a beat. These guys can tell you that I'll, we'll be playing, and I'll drop a beat or two beats, and you know, it's and and it, and, and I think that m doesn't matter as much to me anymore. Uh, yeah, I heard your bassist uh, Ken back there laughing when you were uh, talking about. Well, that. Yeah, he has to put up with me yeah. all these nights. So. <laughs> Denver jazz, um, I don't know about the other genres as much, but in the Denver jazz scene, because it is such a supportive community of musicians, like people are sincerely wanting others to succeed. And I can tell you that is not the case in every other city in jazz scenes. Because of that, there's this really creative, collaborative way of playing here. Musicians like this lift up the whole group. The, the group is good, and then some monster walks in and then takes you up with them. What would you like your musical legacy to be? Legacy, I, I really don't think legacy so much. My thing is uh, I'm just trying to be musical every day, <laughs> and I'm trying to keep growing every day. For me, we could leave legacy alone for now, <laughs> and we could just take care of the work at hand. I hope I'm just a uh, hard-working musician, teacher, performer, educator, composer. If you don't know, uh, Keith still teaches at East High School. Keith, how long have you uh, been teaching music? It's been only about five weeks. No, no, no. Uh, this is 23 years at least. Wow. Person, I'm just truly grateful I made it out of those, those, uh, they used to call them champagne wishes and caviar dreams, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the rock and roll sort of lifestyle. And, it was the jazz lifestyle before it was the rock and roll lifestyle. The only thing the rock and rollers added was destruction of property. But everything else was pretty similar. <laughs> Anisha Rush on the alto yeah. saxophone, Steve Kowalczyk on the guitar, Seth Lewis on the bass, Colin Stranahan on the drums. My name is Greg Gisbert. We want to thank you 